So you have your mason bees, you're trying to think through how to put up your house and all the holes. It's not that hard. The house is going to be on some non-moving surface, about maybe head height, just so you can see what's going on, and facing morning sun. If you're in a really hot environment, uh, where maybe the temperatures are in the 80s, you might want to consider a place where um, there's a little afternoon shade. But mostly warm, non-moving walls. So where do you put your holes? If you've got uh, wood trays, you're pushing the wood trays all the way back. We're trying to get a little landing pad there, and this is actually quite easy. Uh, the mason bee, as they come in, she knows she can see the house. She's zooming in, she's left or right corner. And we've got, if you'll notice on the wood trays, they're all burnished. In fact, I've got black on my fingers. This helps the bee kind of figure out which hole is hers, and so she's zooming in. You're gonna be placing your bees either behind, open the box, behind the holes, or maybe up inside the attic, but just some place where they can come out and the wind's not gonna blow them around. If you have um, our mason bee attractant, the invited bee, to use this, it's quite easy. Take off the lid, make sure you um, point this away from yourself, it actually kind of smells. Uh, you're just gonna spray about 10 sprays on the surface. Uh, you've got enough in here for probably two different houses. Uh, it's an alcohol based, it evaporates real quickly, the pheromone stays behind. So if you don't have wood trays and you've got more uh, reeds or paper tubes, you're trying to place these in a haphazard fashion. The uh, mason bees don't really want to see um, just one homogenous set of holes. They're looking for um, holes that are in and out quite a bit. So this is um, oh, probably a poor example. But we're trying to get the holes. Um, some of them are in, some of them are out. And this just helps the bees as they come in that I know my hole is to the left of the one sticking out. Again, the pheromones are the same thing. You're spraying just on the front of the face. And with your mason bees, I'm trying to put these either behind the holes or up here. Uh, one last thing, if you've got holes, you know, not that many holes are in this big house. We don't want to have a bird nesting up there or something in, so I'm typically taking wadding up paper. And just stuffing that up there, kind of filling that hole, or I could put big rocks or a big stick. Just something that maybe keeps the holes from moving around and um, anything trying to nest in there. That's it. It's easy. Good luck.